Ah. All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. These are all the parts of the Serpent Elevate RTA. Just a little single coil banger RTA from Matt. I really like all the stuff that Matt releases, so it's no real surprise. Yeah, I really dig this Serpent Elevate. Real quick, before we put that together, though, I want to show you what comes in the box. What's in the box? So, your tank is going to be sitting here. My tank is obviously sitting right there. You do get a bubble glass, which ups your capacity from three and a half mils to four and a half mils. I've just been using the smaller capacity straight glass, but I think today we're going to go for the you also do get a drip tip, which, why are these so difficult to get out of here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, there we go. Eh, uh, drip tip. These are little swirly acrylic drip tips, and your design will just be random. They're all randomized. And then also, if you want included in here, is a regular 510 drip tip adapter. 810 to 510. And you get a pack of coils. You get some shoelace cotton. You get spare O-rings and screws, as well as a coil positioning tool. That's all this is. Coil positioning tool. Nice of them to include that. And a big old how-to instruction manual. And then the proper tools you will need for building and such. Yeah, and that's good. That's all well and good. So taking a look at that Elevate deck, that's what you got. There are four holes, one, two, three, four, for your leads of your coil. This is a single coil RTA. You can wrap clockwise, you can wrap counterclockwise. All you have to do is kind of pre-clip your leads, drop it into the holes and tighten them down. This deck also has top-down airflow and you can kind of see right here, these little holes right here, that right there is where your airflow is gonna be coming from. It's gonna be traveling down this little chamber and it's gonna go right into this little hole and you can see there's a tiny, tiny little hole pointed up at your coil and then the rest of the airflow kind of goes underneath your coil and what that translates to in the vape is a really nice smooth airflow and lots lots of flavor. I'm just gonna pop it on this little Snow Wolf mini guy for wicking. First thing I wanna do obviously is make sure that my coils are glowing evenly, which these are. This is a two core alien from Coil Turd, I believe. Came out to 0.29 and I've only been running it at about 50 watts. I notice I don't need a ton of wattage for this particular tank, although that's gonna vary depending on your build and how you wicked it and the viscosity, you know, of the juice you're using. All RTAs are a little bit of a balancing act with coil diameter and the amount of cotton and the juice you're using. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and wick this with one of the included shoelace style cotton wicks that they include. Real easy to just pull straight through. These are a, a perfect diameter for this coil. This is a three millimeter coil in here, by the way. You do have a little bit of travel room before your wick actually gets into that little wick hole chamber down there. So I kind of just like measure with my scissors. I don't want that wick poking out the bottom too much. I kind of want it to come just down just far enough to get captured by that little wick hole down there. Like that. Kind of gonna go like that. And if you did everything right, you can kind of just pop your wick down into that little hole right there. Super easy, super easy. Yeah, super easy, just like that. And I always take a screwdriver and kind of just make sure that there's a little bit of, a little bit of room in there. You don't want this so clogged up with cotton that it doesn't wick anymore. So I kind of like to just go like that. Just, just make sure there's a little bit of breathing room in there. On both sides do that. So that's kind of what your wicking is going to look like or should look like. Time to juice up the coil and the cotton. Just beautiful. It has been wicked, it has been juiced, and there you go. The vapors. Now we're going to attach our bubble glass to the top of the tank. Just a little o-ring right there. Boop goes on. Thankfully the Serpent Elevate has two big kidney shaped juice fill holes. One for your juice to go in, one for your air to come out. It does have a threaded top fill system. So what I like to do is I just take my tweezers in here and I put one in each hole and I kind of use this to like boom 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 just tighten it down real nice so that when you go to refill it you're only unscrewing this top cap and then after you're done filling it don't screw this top cap down so tight it's just gonna make it easier the next time you go to fill it when you grab it you'll unscrew only the juice fill portion Bleh. After you fill it, you reattach it, and boom, you are good. We have a fully built, wicked, and filled Serpent Elevate with the bubble glass on it. And again, that AFC is real nice and glidey. It stops at the full open and stops at the full closed, which I really like. But I rock mine full open, so I'm leaving it full open. But yeah, what we're going to do is get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this Elevate. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm just going to come out and say this. I, I've been having a little bit of a love affair with the Serpent Elevate. I might be nominating this for like my favorite RTA of the year. Matt just makes really good products. He knows what he wants from a product and he knows how to accomplish that with a product. I love the little single coil deck in here. I love how easy it is to wick. I've never had that issue that happens sometimes with tanks where it feels like it's about to go dry, like your wicking just isn't keeping up. Every single time I have wicked this, I have wicked it the same exact way and it has worked flawlessly every single time. It stays wet, it stays saturated, your vape feels dense, it feels flavorful, the airflow feels nice and smooth and swooshy, and the damn thing just does not leak. This is a time when top-in airflow is really beneficial. In things like RTAs, I love that top-down airflow, and Matt did it real, real minimally. Sometimes when you have that top-down airflow design, it tends to make the tank a little bit big, like real sort of big and bulbousy looking. And Matt accomplished that without making a big wonky looking bulbousy tank. This is a point three single coil uh, dual core alien that I believe I got from Coil Turd, one of his sticks. I wrapped it myself on a three millimeter and I really only need to put about 50 watts through this and I get a stellar, stellar vape. It's just, it, it's just a, it's just a good vape. There's no other way to describe it. The construction on this, top to bottom, fit and finish, real nice. All goes together exactly like you would expect it. The AFC does kind of pop off a few times when I was cleaning it. The AFC just comes off and that's fine and you rinse it and you can set it all back together. You just have to line up these little two notches so that the airflow has that like full stop at the open and closed, but it's real easy to do. And honestly, I just like the aesthetics of this tank. Even with that smoky bubble glass on here, I, I think this tank just looks real slick. It looks real classy. It doesn't have any huge logos or huge engravings or anything on it. And most importantly, the vape. The vape is just so good. Now, this is probably the fifth or sixth time that I've re-wicked this, and like I said, every single time I re-wick it, I just do it the same exact way, and it works perfectly, perfectly every single time. It's a real straightforward RTA, single coil, cotton, juice, boom, fill it, you're vaping. I genuinely can't think of anything else to say about this. What have I missed? It's 24 millimeters, it's a five and a half mil capacity with the bubble glass, three and a half without, adjustable AFC, unscrew the top. Dude, it's it's the Serpent Elevate and it's, it's just, it's just my favorite. So let's get down to brass tacks here as we often do. We're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Serpent Elevate. Uh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from about 36 to $40, which is, I mean, no real vape budget hands needed there. That price isn't quite IMO in the cheap enough to buy it just to try it out category. But if you're in the market for a single coil flavor RTA that has a little bit more capacity than some of the other single coil RTAs out there. A good example is that Gear RTA, which I absolutely love, love, love that Gear RTA. This to me delivers a similar vape experience to that Gear RTA flavor and everything, but with a much bigger capacity. This is just one of those all around really well-performing, well-rounded, well-put-together RTAs. I think Watofo did a great job manufacturing it, and I think Matt did an incredible job designing it. Now, if we are are going to play the aliens game which we always play the aliens game but if we're gonna play the aliens game where they come and take everything I have and I have no vape gear left to vape at all is the serpent elevate something I would seek out and buy 36 bucks for this quality of a single coil vape yeah dude this is a rad RTA like I said I've been having a little bit of a love affair with it this has kind of been 
my favorite RTA of the year. And if this Snow Wolf Mini didn't have the giant wolf on the front, this is the mod that I would be using it on. I, I think it looks slick on this. I've been using it on the Vupu Drag 2. I've been using it on that V-Zone E-Mask a lot. Here it is on that Wake 200 watt Bigfoot kit, just all murdered out. I think it looks awesome on there too. The aesthetics of this tank just really appeal to me, Grim Green as a person. It's very slick and very clean and very very cool, man. And it happens to vape great as well. But that's enough rambling from me. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. No links are allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.